kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, And they just Correct. have experience in the investment ground. Uh, they just yep. know the transactions and they just know how to buy and sell a house, but they just don't know what an investor is looking for. So you yep. wanna, if there is an agent out there, so you wanna network with agents, find out their uh, experience, but if they have the experience, you want to work with agents that knows the investment game. Uh, there is mm -hmm. a lot of value in working with one because they're on the ground. Investors yep. and wholesalers may not be, right? Uh, uh, they're not, they may not be, uh, I disagree a lot, by the way, for, with people that are heavily involved in investment and we are heavily involved in the retail, right? Yeah. Uh, I find especially markets like this right now, uh, investors are like doomsday mindset, like, oh, but everything's going to crash. Like, and we're like, <laughs> gonna skyrocket, right? We're not right. right. So it's right. good to have that, uh, uh, synergy between yep. opposite end of the market right i uh, right. have that connection so you can get that perspective and uh, all the signs are shows us especially in the retail yep. market that this market is not slowing down it's going to keep going up at least for the next three years but investors yeah. that i talk to right they're like oh it's, it's done like it's markets dry you know nothing's happening in the market it's about to crash baby we're going on to our cash <laughs> you know yeah i i agree with that um with that mindset i i do um there are a special i've seen a, a especially after the last year i saw a lot of people not buying in detroit um where versus the year prior everybody was buying in detroit yeah you know it's, 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 so yeah. Fear. It's yeah. it, it, it all was it all came down to the fear. It all came down to um, am I going to get my investment or am I going to get my my high end return that I wanted? You know, um, you know. So I that's where I talk with a lot of buyers, and I know you know what people are looking for right now. But the thing is, is that there's you know there's the retail side and then there's the investor side and what i hear from investors and then i talk to other wholesalers who hey say have a deal locked up way too high and i let them know hey this is what an investor is going to pay like at this moment you may be lucky to get a little bit above that but right now they're probably only going to be here and then they go and find um, some guy who's doing it for the first time who pays a little bit more above, yeah, you know, yeah, they don't have the experience, right? They, um, right. So everybody was lucky in the past couple of years because the market was like this. Yeah. Okay. It was like that. And if you got something and you overpriced it, no problem. You can still get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And, and still profitable. And still profitable. If you overpriced it, you might struggle, right? Yeah. But it does not mean markets crash, right? No, no. It's going to sit on the market until the, pr the price comes proper. Yeah. The market dictates the price. Yeah, it's the demand okay. dictates the price. And by the way, over the last one year, uh, you know, we're heavily involved in generating, like, it's like, if you're in the market, in, in the Metro Detroit area, you will see our ad somewhere, right? Either Google, yep. Google or Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok ads, YouTube ads, whatever, right? Uh, and we grab them, right? We are like, <laughs> we are uh, hoarding all the good leads. <laughs> but uh, what we have seen now is that even the people, the, uh, the, the smartest investors in other markets are not coming into Detroit. Uh, even real estate, I could just like, uh, you know, maybe one of my uh, clients will be watching this. He's, I gave him the tip, like, hey, go join all the 
all the all right. the off market uh, Facebook groups. Yep. But uh, there are real estate agents like he's from Florida, Paul. He bought up uh, three properties in Detroit without even looking, right? Without even looking, I was like, hey, this is cheap. This is fifty thousand dollars. Like, I could never buy one here in the Florida market. I don't care what it's like. I don't care. I don't care as long as this is moving ready. Just, just buy it. Just go make offer. And right. it was funny to me was because like, hey, you, you're experienced with this. Like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, yeah, I've been doing this. I'm a real estate agent. I'm like, okay, this is the right offer. Get it under contract. Right. But yeah, there is. There are people that are coming from. You just got to talk to the right investors. Uh, yeah. You know, if if there are invest. Look, I started. When there was five thousand dollar houses in Detroit, I wish I started when there was a dollar houses in Detroit. I know, right? Decent property was five thousand dollars. Decent. You still have to do the cosmetic. Yeah. Like now, you can't find anything decent like without like a major problem for forty thousand dollars. That's what we are facing right now. Every day, we got buyers that are looking at that range, and it's very hard to find something that's decent. There still needs another. Even at forty thousand dollars, you still need another like ten thousand dollar worth of work, right? Give or take, right? So yeah, if if you got investors who've been in this market for ten years, they will never pay fifty thousand because they're used to that five thousand dollar price. Yep. If you're talking to investors that are in like California market, in New York market, in Florida market, they're like, what? Forty thousand dollars? Amazing! Give me that deal, right? <laughs> so you right. gotta start talking to the right people. No, 100%. That's the thing. Like, it, it's funny because I see these posts in my group and in other groups that, hey, I'm looking for uh, Detroit properties uh, under 30 grand and very light rehab. <laughs> like, I'm what like, do you want a land bank property? <laughs> I'm like, unless you go to a war zone, you're not going to get that. Now, I can, I can go to like, Four eight two one three, and probably get that. Yeah. Okay. I can go on a, a rental neighborhood. There, there are certain areas in Detroit I can get that, but they're they're going to be there. It's not going to be the highest uh, return. It's going to be the higher risk areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you don't have a proper property management uh, system set up, by all means, you're going to lose your ass yeah. because you're gonna it's gonna go through a year of tenants then they'll either start not pay or as soon as they leave they'll trash your property yeah. or it's not even the tenant yeah. as soon as they leave the, the property does not uh get uh how shall i say uh secured properly by the you know by either the homeowner or the property management company whatever it is now you got a, a furnace stolen hot water tank stolen uh windows broken and and the worst case scenario is you get a you get a squatter you know and i say that's the worst case because a squatter can hold you up for a long time mm -hmm. you know because now you got to officially evict them yeah yeah you know sure. you definitely uh, those are very common problems then even beyond that be, there are more problems after squatter squatter is not the end all, all be all problem yep. the squatter could draw up draft a quick claim deed yes fake your signature because they got it i don't know somehow they found your signature they got a fake notary and record the deed into the public records and that's the big problem right now you got yep. a title action uh, but this is the tip i would give to wholesalers and investors is that if you are facing uh, buyers not wanting to pay the price for the deals right but you you are confident mm -hmm. your numbers are right uh, go to saturated market Facebook groups. So California investor groups, New York investor groups, Texas and Texas are still medium, still medium. Um, uh, you know, California is a big, right? Investors yeah. in California will dump money into Detroit and advertise your deals, advertise the opportunities in Detroit there. Okay. Yep. Collect buyers from there. Okay. Trust me on this because I've been working with the investors all over the states, even different countries, right? Invest yep. in Detroit. They they could like blindfoldly give you the like market price and you're in wholesale, right? They'll give mm -hmm. you like what, what you what the number is, the highest numbers possible. 
Uh, so that's the tip I would give, like go to unsaturated markets and attract buyers from there. And it's all, you know, whenever there is price is the problem, that means uh, the whoever is the buyer, they're not recognizing the value, right? This is like yep. basic loss principle. Whenever the price is the problem, whatever you're charging or whatever the product is, uh, the buyers are questioning the price is because they don't recognize the value. And if they have been in this market for a long time, the value is diminishing because the property values are appreciating, right? So now you have to go find buyers who will see value in fifty, sixty thousand dollar deals, right? Because yep. they're used to three hundred thousand dollar deals for the same cap rate, right? One hundred percent, one hundred percent agree with you on that. And it's funny because I'll I'll get um, some people, some other either wholesalers or any others that will come into my group and say, Hey, can I post from other states in here? And I go, you're really not going to want to do that. No offense. No one is going to want that. No one's going to want it. You know, <laughs> like but unless now the no. only difference, the only different, the only caveat is if it's a multi-unit. Yeah. Okay. Multi-family, 100% different. Everybody from everywhere will want it. Yeah, you know, yeah. as long as it's priced right, of course. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm like, you trying to list a single family home down in Florida, like there's, yes, there's remote investors, but the price points are going to be yeah. way different. Yeah. And the return you know? return on investment, uh, the markets like Florida and New York right now, they're almost like breaking in and just to be in the game, right? Um, yes. You know, conversations I have had over the last two years, those markets have like shrink. Right, meaning uh, yep. because of the price appreciation, because the demand on the retail side, they're they're almost making like pennies on the dollar, right? So um, yeah. there is not a lot of opportunity. There's still opportunities out there for sure in uh, different markets. Yep. Yeah. Go after. So, so, so no, I completely agree with that, and uh, that that's a huge tip. Huge tip. I uh, so. With that, we're coming up to close to the end here. I uh, and I, how can any of my audience, anybody from the Facebook group, anybody here who's watching this on YouTube or anything like that, help you? Um, you know, and if they want to work with you, how would they be able to get in touch with you as well? Oh, sure. Uh, the Success Broker and any social media platforms, uh, uh, Real Estate Sales Machine, which is actually, by the way getting rebranded on June 1st as boss agents because uh, when I first started uh, my coaching program, I had this goal in mind that I'm going to help anyone and everyone in the real estate sales space, uh, you know, wholesalers, investors with lead generation uh, yep. because that's my strong suit, online leads. Uh, but it, after doing this for three years, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to niche down to just agents, right? So. Uh, what what we are doing now is leveraging technology, leveraging AI, uh, using mm -hmm. AI in every aspect of real estate sales. Uh, so I'm going to rebrand to Boss Agents. Uh, but the success broker, you can find me anywhere. How you can uh, contribute is uh, I want to be in front of as many cameras and as many microphones. Right? <laughs> yep. So I, with my knowledge and experience, it's not that you know I want to just be in because I want to be famous because I want to give back, right? Yes. Uh, and and every aspect of the real estate business, I have knowledge and experience in. You know, whether it's investment side, I I did wholesale deals myself, even though I'm an agent uh, through this uh, last seven eight years, right? So. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I could contribute, right? Even if it's lead generation, you want to bring me on, talk about how can someone generate leads uh, online with through social media like clockwork. I, I could yep. show it to you. I have literally share my screen and like, hey, you know what? Five minute tutorial, right? I'm going to set up an ad and show you guys how you can start generating leads for $5 a lead, right? Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how you can help me is putting me in front of your audience and I want to give back to as many people as possible. But yeah, you can reach out. We have coaching programs on lead generation, on mm -hmm. building a real estate business. These principles are really designed for agents, but it applies to investors, right? The whole yep. that hacks and the habits required to become successful in real estate and the business planning and goal setting and, you know, the systems required, the CRM and the, you know, lead generation and, you know, the objection handling and setting appointment and go analyzing deals and, you know, 
whole nine yards, right? Yeah. No, 100%. That, that's awesome. So, yeah, no, I, I'm happy to help as much as we can here. Um, you know, and anybody out there, you know, if you are a agent, if you want to reach out to them, um, you know what? And honestly, I recommend any other wholesalers out there. You know, you might get flooded, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, any other it. wholesalers, reach out to him and his team, you yeah. know, and and see how you can... Uh, you know, benefit from a mutual relationship, you know, sure. yeah. now, you know, I, I sent him a lead because it came from through my cold call system and they wanted too much. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. 